Good day, my lovely people. Welcome here again to my channel, Eleanor's Chronicles. And of course, my name is Eleanor. My lovely people, yo, things are getting scarier by the minute. On the back of the story that um, I did just two days back about the kids who got... Um, poisoned at a school in Soshanguve after being fed space cookies that they bought just outside the school. Now there's two kids who have been poisoned and have lost their lives after eating a snack that they bought at the Begasdal taxi rank which happens to be on the west of Johannesburg apparently and it is not only these two kids who have lost their lives we also have another two kids a four-year-old who is currently in um in ICU who is said to be critical but stable in Baraguana's hospital this child is said to have fallen sick, got food poisoning after ingesting a juice and biscuits from a nearby spaza in Naledi. Along with another three-year-old who, who also got food poisoning after ingesting as well biscuits bought from spaza in Naledi as well. But the three-year-old is said to be recuperating nicely at home. And the Department of Health officials are now in Naledi, are busy educating people on food safety and how to how to spot when you have food poisoning and what to do when you see the symptoms of having food poisoning, of which the symptoms that you will present with, of course, we already know it will be fever, it will be stomach cramps, it will be diarrhea, it will be nausea, vomiting. Um, they also um, educated people on the importance of checking labels, whether something is actually... Um, expired or not, of which, for me, I don't know, my lovely people, please do tell me in the comment section. For me, I am feeling that, one, it's too little too late, because still I don't hear anything about um, health inspectors checking all spazes, throughout South Africa if they are compliant, all of them, not one, all of them, throughout the entire South Africa street by street. I don't hear that. So this efforts that they are, that they are making now for me is them just making uh, some noise so that we might, or, or we, they want us to see them as doing something, whereas they are doing absolutely nothing. So it is on that basis that I say, one, it is too little too late. Two, you're not even addressing the proper, the proper issue because the proper issue is not whether or not people are checking food labels, whether people are checking whether the food has been uh, SABS approved or what are the bodies that are approving food, foodstuffs. It's not about that, guys. The, this problem stems from poverty. What these kids, what these four kids suffered is actually different from that one of those kids who got poisoned at school. With this, with these four kids, here it's poverty having played a hand here. Because under normal circumstances with a parent 
that has um, an affordable salary, something in the ranges of 8,005 going upwards. Normally, uh, around that uh, salary bracket, they buy their children's snacks at a reputable store. They'll still give them affordable snacks just from a reputable store. But then when you're going to an unemployed mother or just a hustling mother who can barely feed and is living hand to mouth, that person wants their child not to feel like they're not like other kids. And therefore, they will buy their children those cheap snacks, of course, from uh, from this local spazes. Of which, how are you going to check an expiry date from loose biscuits? You bought the child some loose biscuit, two loose biscuits, because one is 50 cents. If you gave them one rand, it means that they can get two uh two biscuits and sometimes even when they are saying juice you're gonna find that actually it was hippopotani what's a hippopotani in um in english you're gonna find or actually not actually juice juice So now, we are having a shortage of jobs and um, local businesses no longer have that much support. And food is now super expensive. Food is generally super expensive. The cost of living is extremely high right now. We are living in a time whereby 5 kg of maize meal, because I use only bribe up, uh, 5 kg of maize meal is close to 100 rand. Close, uh, 5 kg of flour is close to the same 100 rand. 2 liter of cooking oil is also close to 100 rand. So 300 rand only gets you three stuffs, three products, which is barely, which is not even making a full basket. So one basket, one household basket can actually cost 1,500 rand easy. That is actually what killed those kids. When are we going to discuss that particular problem? That there is no really sufficient support to support people that really don't afford much. Now we are having parents who have lost kids and we have two more kids who are not now traumatized because they've been through so much. And unfortunately, there's more kids who are going to die from the same thing. Unfortunately, there are more kids who are going to fall victim to the very same thing. Because the problem still persists. The problem still persists. Because unemployed mothers will still give their kids snacks from where? From Imakule. How did this snacks even get there? 
can they just uh, discipline themselves to say so much so that some have to sneak so that some have to sneak Such is life. Hmm? Utu valama wind. Ebsug. Kiligiti. Na ngumkos. Na asiska kapa mguaku. Umas ban bani na nguanyonyo bangena kwa, kwa my friend. Ayola lakon. So that eksene agwa zugbuya. Nesinkwa na matkanda. Nepek beans. Nama biscuit nya na follow mto ana ne juice. Next thing mto ano feel. Are we gonna play mo magas ban ban? We call it survival. Huh? Hmm? Simply because when I are too much of a coward to go zamela bantu ana bako, you wanna call her a coward. It's survival. Go laugh at Abonim Pilokona. What do you want her to do? What other options are there for Omunumundat? Why are you for Num Sebet? Moon Pege Um Seben's lawyer. And you show her now we are good to go to Um Seben's lawyer. Moon Pig. Gunzi Memsabeni, my lovely people. Gunzi Memsabeni. That is actually what's eating our kids. It's frustrating. The situation is seriously frustrating. Earlier this year, one of my makilwane also lost their, their baby due to food poisoning. Nae Guayana does not even know what I'm done with the baby. Says is Zono Comba, Escolin, Espaza, eh, you don't know. Now we're living in fear. We're living in fear, Uguti. When is it going to be your own child's turn to get poisoned? Simply because you are not in that economic bracket whereby you can sufficiently keep them safe by giving them uh, only food and snacks from reputable stores. Because there ain't no way you're gonna keep that child safe. Asadla isn't Ozasemakuli. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Labantwa na basa zo wanjenga mapela. Sometimes I end up thinking what these people are actually fumigating us. Hmm? boom. But then, of course, that is like a unfairly judging them. Because na baba ya zamel, ama factory wa bo se abo na ma video wa kona utaz keep le pe na ma factory wa bo. Sis, bono muntu ngi nyo zinja nja ne ame pe zuga kama rolls na tisa hamba si otenga kona la pe na ufaga ngasemlo men. Kaso tovar chila ibola. Mara ya nungu bla ileba nash. Gunzima, my lovely people, let's continue the conversation down in the comment box and tell me what do you think about uh, this issue.